Hi, I'm Patrick Bukarian. I'm in the other section of 205, but unfortunately I have a class right now, but I'm still going to discuss the GUI portion of my team's final project. So our entire GUI is created entirely of J panels, J labels, J buttons, a J text area, and J text fields. And um, in order to start this design off, I created this little template space to make sure that it would actually work the way I wanted it to. And it, it seemed to be working pretty well, so I started making the entire bottom bottom row with orange for a nice Bucknell theme. And then um, I experienced my first problems when I reached the side of the board. And the problem with the side was is that I realized that you couldn't turn a J label sideways or upside down. So in order to get around this, um, I actually ended up taking individual pictures of the name of each building and the price of it and then taking those pictures, turning them sideways, and then adding them onto J labels um, on the side and upper panel. And um, it took a really long time to do this, but it was definitely worth it because the board came out exactly how I wanted it to. So this is working across the left side and then finally the top and the right. And, um, and then finally, once I was done with that, eventually the finished product started kind of just jumping out at me, essentially. And uh, all the main functionality in the board is kept in the center, which is nice, because uh, it kind of keeps the board from taking up too much of the screen. So in the center of the board, you could build houses, trade, start a new game, um, roll the dice. And uh, one of the best parts about the board is, is that um, on top of every space, there's a J label that uh, is specifically set aside for putting down player icons. So depending on where the player is moving across the board, um, their icon actually gets set down on top of the J label. And uh, in order to do this, the GUI actually returns a list containing all of these specific J labels. And, um, then, uh, the, and then it gets parsed through in order to determine where to put the player down. And um, that's kind of like the main points of the GUI. Um, all the specific player icons go down here with the current player showing up. And uh, we're just really pleased with how it turned out. So um, enjoy the rest of the presentation. I'm sure the rest of my team's doing a good job. And uh, have a nice day.